campaign, President-elect Donald Trump has less than a month to complete the transition of power before he is sworn into office on January 20th. And he is spending the week at his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida meeting with advisors. And we learned over the weekend that Rhode Island native Sean Spicer will be taking on a second key role in the Trump White House. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Clooney sat down with Spicer one-on-one. -on -one. She joins us now with the interview you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Well, Kelly, when I sat down with Sean Spicer this weekend, he had just found out days before that he was going to be the new White House press secretary. Now, we also know he'll be serving as communications director. We talked with him about growing up in Rhode Island and how he forged a path to the White House. Sean Spicer will soon hold the top communications job at the White House, but he hasn't forgotten his Rhode Island roots. You know, you grow up here in Rhode Island and you think you see things on TV and, and you wonder, how does that ever, how does that person get that job? And, and now I'm going to have the honor of, of having that position. And it, it really is a humbling thing. A Barrington native, Spicer says his passion for politics blossomed while studying at Portsmouth Abbey. He volunteered for local races in high school and college and began working in politics upon graduation. I really found it interesting and inspiring and, and I liked it, the intensity um, and so I just kept doing that. Most recently, Spicer served as communications director and chief strategist for the Republican National Committee before becoming a visible part of President-elect Trump's transition team. While there had been speculation for weeks Spicer would nab the press secretary job. He said the news officially came in a phone call from Trump himself. And he called and just said, congratulations, you're going to be great at this. I, I'm, I'm glad you're going to do it. And, uh, and I'm really proud of you and the work that you've done. And, and let's, let's do great things together. It was uh, very inspiring. Now Spicer is ready to step into a dual role of press secretary and communications director for a man who is never afraid to speak his mind. He, he does um, communicate in a much bigger uh, way than, and than ever has been before, and I think that's going to be just a really exciting part of, my, uh, of the job. And coming up new at 6, we'll have more of our exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Sean Spicer, including what he says the president-elect is like behind closed doors. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. It's been one month before Donald Trump takes the oath of office as the 45th president. He's already asked some people with Rhode Island connections to join his administration, including one man originally from Barrington who will have an office right in the West Wing and will work very closely with the new president. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us with more of her exclusive interview with Sean Spicer including what he says Donald Trump is like behind closed doors. Kim? Well, Kelly, we sat down with Rhode Island native Sean Spicer this weekend to talk about his new roles as White House Press Secretary and Communications Director, and we also got a little insight into the inner workings of Trump's transition. I grew up in Barrington. Barrington native Sean Spicer has been a visible part of President-elect Trump's transition team. There isn't a boring minute. Now the future White House communications director and press secretary, we ask Spicer what Trump is like behind closed doors. Caring and gracious. Um, and I think that's a side of him that hopefully in this role I can help get out a little bit more. Trump's performance in Rhode Island last month was the strongest of any Republican nominee since 1988. Spicer argues that's because of his honest and authentic desire to help Americans. And I think it resonated with Rhode Islanders that are tired of being told time and time again something's going to get fixed and not seeing the results. Uh, obviously he did well, but there were still many more people in Rhode Island who did not vote for him who are concerned about a Donald Trump presidency what would you say to those people uh, watch what he does Spicer believes president-elect Trump has already shown his business sensibilities with negotiations on deals like carrier and Air Force One he's a guy that I think people are going to be highly impressed with in terms of his hands-on no-nonsense get things done agenda and Spicer isn't the only Rhode Island native in Trump's cabinet. Michael Flynn, Trump's national security advisor, also hails from the Ocean State. Spicer says while they don't often talk to the president-elect about Rhode Island, they do talk to each other about the place they call home. And if you'd like to see our full interview with Spicer, you can head to our website, WPRI.com. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.